Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Today, I'm going to show you how you can format text as easily in LaTeX as you can in other word processing systems, and how to define your own LaTeX commands to make your life that much easier. We'll start up our document the same way again, only since we're dealing with text formatting, we'll also add the AMS fonts package to show you this, the, uh, some of the math mode font formatting features LaTeX has. Now, if you're using LaTeX for word processing, You'll probably want to know how you can replicate the effects you can get in Word, like italics, bolding, and underline. For these, you use commands uh, whose argument is the text that you want so modified. Uh, these commands, which I'm going to be copy-pasting shortly, are text it, text bf for bold-faced, and backslash underline for underline. If we compile these, we see we have uh, italic, bolded, and underlined ham. Now, for commands which change the size of text, these work slightly differently. Instead of having the text as the argument of the command, you put the, the command in, a, in the same group as the text. So I have uh, the huge command applying only to the ham in this phrase. There are, of course, other sizes than huge. We can have tiny, small, large, normal sized text. You can look these up in LaTeX documentation. Additionally, uh, we, can put, we can format text in math mode and I'll copy paste a phrase in uh, with, with some of those features. These are, of course, what we get from the AMS fonts package. So we have the math RM font for Roman. Uh, so we have a upright Roman D as opposed to an italic D that we would normally get. A bold-faced Roman, math BF, R. And then on the next line, some more complicated fonts. Fracture, uh, which is our P. Uh, blackboard bold, so uh, all the letters have double lines in them. Uh, for Z, the integers, and uh, calligraphic math fonts for uh, stuff in, say, set, the set theory, uh, which we have the U in. So back in text mode, an important thing to note is that uh, quotation marks only denote closing quotation marks. So that's both single and, and opening quotation marks. Uh, in order to get around this, uh, you use back ticks to denote opening quotation marks and two of them to denote an opening double quotation mark. Uh, we can see, you can see here that the uh, second instance of the phrase quoted text has the opening quotation mark facing the wrong way. Now in math mode, as we've seen earlier, superscripts and subscripts are easily done. Here we have 2 to the 5 equals uh, x naught. Uh, and this is just done with a caret and with a subscript. But unfortunately, uh, you, can't just do, you, you can't do this straight away in text mode. Uh, for superscripts in text mode, you need the very long command text superscript, uh, and there actually is no subscript command for text mode that's included in, in the default. You can either find some package which has the subscript command, or you can take a sort of a brief jaunt into math mode uh, to make something a subscript. Uh, so we go into math mode, uh, start a sub, uh, subscript which is attached to nothing at all inside the math mode, and then use the text command to write subscript uh, as it would appear in text, this is basically the same thing as math RM. So here we have text with subscript. Now say you're writing something in which you're talking about the integer lot. It's going to be pretty arduous to write backslash math BBZ every time you want to talk about the integers, and you deserve to have your space in your clipboard open to copy paste something else because you're a nice person. In order to get around this and to make your life easier, you can make a new command to do this in the preamble rather than the document itself, we add the command new command backslash zz uh, designating backslash math bbz. This defines the command math backslash zz to do the same thing as math bbz. If we put this in our text and compile, we see that we get the symbol for the integers. But wait, you may ask, if I can make a command to shorten that expression, well, in this other homework assignment I'm doing, I've been doing a lot of partial derivatives, and backslash frac, backslash partial x, backslash partial y takes a long time to write, but you're differentiating by different, different things every time. Nevertheless, the commands that you can make can have arguments. So if we make a partial uh, differentiation command, backslash pd, uh, we give this two arguments by putting two brackets after the pd, and then uh, use number signs uh, in what the command is being defined as to denote those arguments. You can also make commands 
which are based on commands you've previously made, such as partially differentiate by x, which only has one argument and replaces the second argument of pd with x. So if we put this in and compile, we see that we get our partial derivatives as we expect. So now you know how to format text both in text mode and math mode and how to set up your own commands so you don't have to type for miles every time you want to do the same thing more than once. Thank you for watching this video in our series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Click here to view other videos in our series. Click here to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new Center of Math videos. And click here for a website which has more math resources, including a catalog of our textbooks, which are all, as you may know, written in LaTeX.